Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. And we are back at New York Comic Con day three. And today is the big day as we are now in front of the Funko booth. We have our reservation today to go inside of the Funko booth. So really cool show about 15 minutes before our reservation. And now we are here in line. It doesn't look like it's too bad. It should probably be like 20 minutes until we get in. And here is a screen with everything that they have. It doesn't look like anything has sold out yet, but I know the Luffy's a huge one, the Pipe Headed Dragon, some of the sodas. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we are gonna be going for today, but right now it's 11.30. So looks like we're at a good time. And while we were waiting in line, somebody was coming through and giving stuff out. We actually got this Boo Hollow. Which series is this? Uh, series two. So this is a series two. I know they just announced series four last night at Fright Night, which I'll give you guys my thoughts about Fright Night in a little bit, but yeah, pretty cool that we got this for free. And now we are almost into the few people in front of us to get to the Funko booth. So pumped. All right, it's our time to go in. This bottle gives me that's all you're gonna go. Like it has a uh, poster in there let's see and then also like a pin and a button pretty cool and here we are inside the Funko booth now they have all the pops and sodas behind there it's gonna be a fun time from Lounge 
much flying. Now we're going to hand out all sorts of, I don't know, anybody ever see one of these? The Mystery Manor Key Chain. Key Chain. All right, last thing, creepy crew, come on. Bring all this stuff up, let them see it. One, two, three. Motor Funko Wayne Spirit on the Lambs Black side. Come on, arm. Move your arm. Yeah, good. Yeah. Here. Trick or treat. And I got my big bag from the Funko Shop. We'll go through everything later. But it was really cool in there. So now it's a little time has passed. We actually went back to the hotel, dropped up all the pops. Because I didn't want to, want to walk around the rest of the day holding those pops. Uh, but now we're back. And we're here back in front of the Funko booth again. Just want to talk a little bit about it. It's actually really, really cool. As you guys saw in the video, there are tons of like really cool decorations all around. Playing Halloween music. Uh, every like every hour, every 30 minutes, whatever, they had someone come up on stage. Like Becker was there. So it was really, really fun. Throughout the day, though, they are doing giveaways. Uh, actually, when we were walking back, I saw they tweeted they were giving out a Social Media Freddy and saying the first piece to come out here. And they're also giving away a uh, Brian Mariotti signed soda as well. So uh, look around for the giveaways whenever you go to a convention and Funko is here. Now, I also want to touch on a few things that I noticed inside. So one thing is I got in line at 11.15 by 11.30 reservation. I ended up not getting out until about one o'clock. So it takes a while for you to get through the line. So just be prepared for that. If you have things back to back, you might have to pick and choose what's most important. Another thing is the problem with the stickers. So of course, when you come to a con, one of the appeals is that you'll get the actual convention stickers, the official convention ones. However, here at the booth, there was a little bit of a problem where a number of the figures actually had shared stickers, including the three liter sodas. Also some of the pops like Coach Beard and Swamp Fire did not have stickers. And in fact, when I got back to the hotel room, I took a look at all the pops I had, and Britney Spears had no sticker at all, even though I saw her on the shelf with con stickers. So I might have to ask to see if maybe they'll give me a sticker that I can put on later, something like that. But there are problems with the stickers. I asked when I was up checking out, and they said there was problems with the actual factory not having the correct sticker on there. So if you are a stickler for stickers, be careful with that. Just double check when you're at the booth. I know that maybe that's not gonna be a problem if you're ordering online, of course. You might get it without a sticker, but if you want the actual con sticker here at the event, make sure you ask before you buy. Now we have a little bit of time to walk around the show floor, so I thought I would come over to the Koi Temple booth, because they do have some pretty cool stuff. They do have a lot of their exclusive Yami Marriage from Yu-Gi-Oh! They got a lot of them. Pretty cool. It looks like you can get some of them signed as well for not that bad of a price. And they do have a ton of grails behind here, including a lot of the Demon Slayer pops that are signed. They have a huge amount of Freddy Funkos. Like I see there's that Aquaman uh, Freddy Funko. There's C3PO Freddy Funko there too. Might be hard for you to see. I think that Sting Captain Rex is there. Man, there are a lot of really cool figures behind here that we will never be able to afford. Here they do have the Trafalgar Mog Low Chase right here, the AAA MX. This is pretty cool. And right behind here, they have an entire wall of chases, including the new Thor Low Chase from Talos Collectibles and the Kilowatt Chase from AAA Anime as well. The, some of the Demon Slayer chases too. They do have some of the SDCC exclusives like Goku, Mary Chavez, He Remains, and Moon. But they also have some other brand new ones, which is the Winter Conventions book coming later this year. So some of these hit international like Spinner, President Loki getting his uh, arm bitten off by Alligator Loki, and also the Hooded Black Adam. And if you want to see the prices, there they are, 40 bucks a piece. Not terrible. So now we came across this booth, which is a rewind pop. I've not heard of them. All right, we have retro rewind pop, it looks like. And they have a ton of grails in this case, including Shadow of Chow, Dobby, Tom Brady, the lawyer Shield, Amy Farrah Fowler. It looks like down here, they have some of the Grease Pops, the uh, ECC exclusive Thor, King Bradley, the 
blue chrome Darth Vader is pretty cool, and there's also this uh, blue chrome Boba Fett and this convention exclusive Luke Skywalker. It looks like over here they have some more heat, so they have this Peter Parker, Steve, and the Chase Joker. Those are some great ones. Now, since we bought a lot of pops today, we brought a lot of pop protectors to ship them home, but did not have enough apparently. So we came over to Seven Bucks a Pop and Pop Shields booth so that way we can grab some pop protectors. So I am gonna be getting uh, probably a bunch of the four inch ones for ourselves. Probably a pack of these should be good. So that way we ship them home, they'll be good. I came by this booth the other day, but I just wanna show it off again for you guys who did not see it. Mr. Grill is here. Their company from seven bucks a pop. They are gonna have uh, their Mr. Grill right here over 6,000 total boxes. Well, not over, actually 6,000 total boxes and these are some of the premium grills you can get. Just $15, so it's not terrible. I was debating it, but I normally don't like to go for this because they're pretty much guaranteed to get a common figure. They're probably worth around 15, so I'd rather just not do that. Now we're downstairs in the autograph area and we were waiting for Brendan Frazier. We're so excited. And now we are in line to meet and get our autograph from the Christopher Lloyd. Cannot believe we're doing this. And now our last autograph of the day is the mega one, Michael J. Fox. This is gonna be crazy. Now, if you get any autographs down here at the convention, you can come to the SWAU booth and actually get them authenticated. They have professionals right here. Take your pops. All you gotta do is just show them your receipt, have the actual, like, whatever item you have, comic book, anything, right next to your next to the Mandalorian guys. Got ours authenticated, just 10 bucks each. Well, we've had a crazy past few hours, to say the least. We couldn't really show much because for the past what, almost three hours? Yeah, about uh, three hours. We've been down in the autograph area, getting autographs for three amazing people, and really all I got to show was just the signs of their names. So we got three amazing people. I'm still shocked that we were able to do this. Oh my Mind God. Mind blown. Oh my God. Because these people are one of our favorites. And uh, like I... And so we have three different ones, like I said, to show. So the first one we got was Brendan Fraser's The Mummy Rick O'Connell. He is signed right there. He was super, super nice. He was super, super nice. And what's really cool about this, I did show, again, on the side, we did get in certified. So autograph is certified. All you gotta do is just go to that SWAU booth here at the convention, and they'll authenticate it. It took like two minutes. So yeah, two minutes. Because you just show your receipt. Or if you bought it while in line, you just gotta show them a ticket that they give you. So that's the ticket we got for Brandon. But we bought it ahead of time, so you just show them the receipt. And then what was really cool, and he was super nice as well, is Christopher Lloyd. And he had this really clean signature right there of Doc and Einstein that Walmart just pop. We really do love this pop. It was awesome that we were able to get it signed by him. And again, also authenticated. Yeah, super nice. We actually talked to him about, you know, Adam's family and about Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit One of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, yeah. She loves Adam's Family Values. Watches oh, it yeah. every single fall. Every fall. And it's, it's just fun to talk to him about things that are not as popular. Because like for Brandon Fraser, we talked about Monkey Ball. Which he probably did not get that a lot. Deep cut, guys. Watch Monkey Bone. And some someone that got me super emotional um, to meet was... Michael J. Fox. The now, one and only. We didn't really yeah. meet, meet him, though. Yeah, he didn't really look up. But, you know, if you know about him, you kind of understand why. But his signature is really great, too. This is that San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from 2020. Uh, the Marty checking his watch. Really amazing pop. Also certified, of course. So we absolutely love meeting these three idols of ours. Uh, this is really one of the coolest things about coming to a convention. You get to meet these amazing people. So these pops are now super, super heavy duper grails for all of us. But man, we cannot wait, or we cannot believe. But man, we cannot believe we got all three of them signed. This was an absolutely crazy crazy day on top of yesterday where we got to meet Tom Kenny so I'm just blown away but right now 
I'm sitting down because we are ready to go into the Back to the Future panel. We have reservations for it. And I don't know how we got them, but we got them. So now we are here in line. They're just waiting to open up the main stage. So we'll be there soon and we'll get to see our friends, uh, Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox on stage. Yeah, let's get a thumbnail here. Oh, with the box? I need to blur them out. Lift up uh, to stock a little bit. Oh. Oh, why don't you point it out? I need you to get on your feet and make some noise for the one and only Michael J. Fox! I couldn't remember the line. What was hard about that was that the, 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 so the entire, everything I described to you had to be done all yeah. over again. <laughs> About an hour later. It was not a fun moment. You're not kidding. It's long scenes like, like trains would go by and horses would go by and people would like fall off and catch on fire and hang up and things. And then, and then like he and I would create a line and that's it. The whole thing again. Like Fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> crazy. Why would that play a good virus? I don't know if you can see with Chris. My favorite scene with Chris was, and, and the whole thing like I've seen in the movie with Chris was uh, well, it's actually a few scenes. Everything from when I showed up at his doorstep in 1955 through to when we were in the room and he had to excuse the crudity of this design. And they're like this giant, like thing with a like, car going through and hit the thing and it blows up. And, and um, but he, yeah, this went like, like I pulled the thing up my head. <laughs> I came here in time machine and said, You invented it! <laughs> you know, like you did that whole riff about it. Who, who, who's the poorest president? Who's like, is it Jerry Lewis? <laughs> I was just saying, like, I'm the president of genius. I'm the president of like a brilliant guy who was going to go where we were going to go. And all I had to do was to just react, just take it in and, 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 and let it wash over me. And I would be brilliant. Because, because that was the whole thing, was just to be with Chris, just let it be Chris, and, and, and enjoy it. And, and I could have no better gift than to work with somebody who is that good. I mean, like, you got right now, 22-year-old guy, 
Well, one guy, this freaking good. Like, really good. And, and, and it, it was, it was thrilling. And then the rest of the movie was, was all the same. Anytime I had a chance to work with him, that was going to be a good day. Any chance I had to work with Christian, it was going to be fun, but weird. <laughs> Any, any day I was, we got to film Love Over again. She was great, and, and um, such a great cast. Such a great, like, everybody, like, Goldie, and, and like, Clock Tower Lady, and like, everybody in that movie was, was really perfectly cast. Really great. Final advice to everyone out there in the audience. Like, the, the one thing you're going to leave them with before we walk off stage. That little nugget of truth. No pressure. <laughs> Gotta use the mic. I have to quote well, the sad moments in a movie. The future is what you make it. Yeah. I think that panel might have been uh, one of the best things we've done. Yeah, it takes the cake on everything we've done so far here. I mean, obviously, meeting Christopher Lloyd and getting Michael J. Fox's autograph was top notch, but getting to see them interact with each other was amazing. They are so close. There's that true love and bond they have for so many years, and it's just so great to see. And I know, and Michael J. Fox, like, he knows that movie from top to bottom, like all three of them. And he just, the, the love he has for the film, it was kind of fascinating. Because sometimes you see panels and they don't remember some things and you have to remind them and whatnot. But Michael could like recite the whole thing probably right there. Exactly. They're not just actors in Back to the Future. They are Marty. They are Doc. Yeah. They are these characters and they love it so much, which really makes us love them even more right but man that calls it an amazing day the best day so far day three of new york comic-con 2022 we have one more day left sunday is gonna be a little bit shorter but should still be a pretty cool one because we do have some great panels we have three three different panels to go to tomorrow so it should be a really really fun time if you guys did enjoy what we showed off today, make sure you leave a like on this video. It does make a massive difference. You could, of course, hit that subscribe button as well if you want to see more. And also hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos. And also comment down below, what do you guys think about us going to the Funko store? Uh, did you guys grab any stuff from Funko yourself, whether it's online or here at the con? What do you think about some of the stickers we got? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below as well. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. <laughs>